Finally, after four long weeks, I've won twice. I'm not in last place anymore. I mean, last week broke the seal. Obviously. Turn down for what? But now, I can sit back, take my mind off of things, and finally get some sleep. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was shooting myself pretty hard during this dealer's game. But to edge out Goss by less than a point, it was incredibly satisfying. I mean, I called it. I said I was coming back. I mean, that's the thing about this league. I mean, look at last week. So we only had like 45 points. This week, he was a domestic terrorist with over 180. That's insane. It just goes to show that no one's ever out of it. Well, maybe except the Mangans and Holly. They're both pretty terrible. Anyway, you know who's not terrible is Gary Smith. And I'm likely going to have a gay dream about him tonight, but... Man, 6-1, and one, who would have thought? The new guy. He's averaging that magical 150 points a game. Just like I said at the beginning of the year. That's the number you need. That's why I'm so smart. And also not winning. Anyway, Tyler's won five in a row. That's nice. Good for him. Even for a guy who has more criminals on his team than the Seminoles. What do you gotta do? Well, so after seven games, the Hooker's division... Appropriately enough, Aaron Jones at the top, and my girlfriend's on the bottom. Let me just think about that for a minute. I like it. Kind of reminds me of that scene from, what was that movie? Wild Things? Yeah, this is the one. Wait, what's Kevin Bacon doing here? Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, okay, hang on. Yeah, so, that's a chick from Scream, right? The other chick, she's like a Bond girl, but she's a really bad actress, but she's kind of weird boobs. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry, I just got a little sidetracked. You know, there's one person I know that definitely did not enjoy that. That was Dan Stack. What can I think about for Dan Stack? Wait a minute. Isn't this Brokeback Mountain? How did I get here? No, how did I get here? I, I gotta get out. Maybe make a stop. Please, make a stop before they kiss. Ow! Cool. Oh, holy shit, that was close. Whew. Okay, so let me get my balls back here. Let's talk about the scoring leader so far this year by position. Top three all the way around. Quarterback, Luck, Manning, Rivers. Running back, Murray, Forte, and Bell. Wide receiver, a white boy. Jory Nelson. Antonio Brown, Demarius Thomas. Tight ends. Olsen, Thomas, Bennett, Defenses, Philly, Lions, my New England Patriots. And who would have thought, Jason Garrett. How about them Cowboys? The number one scoring head coach this year. Anyway, I got to tell you guys, it's been a rough couple weeks. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be back in the saddle at the helm of the greatest football league in the history of fantasy football. And just for you, I did a little bit of extra math. Gary went on the Facebook page this week and made a good point about playing your studs, not worrying about projections, not listening to all his analysts and what they have to say. So I went back. Every week, every team, I looked at the projections that ESPN had for your team. And you know how far off it was? 33 points on average. 33 points. That's a lot. So moral of the story, listen to yourself. Listen to your brain. Listen to your gut. Listen to your dick. Whatever body part you choose, just go with it. Oh, you know what this is? Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is that episode of Knight Rider where it's like Kit versus Car. It's like his evil twin brother Car or something. Sweet. All right, let's watch this while we go over this week's schedule. It's going to be a tight one for a lot of people. This is going to be a very pivotal week. Goss and Stack, they're both three and four. This could make or break your season. Pavano and Savino, same deal. Who could win the division? Pavano's five and two. Savino's four and three. The big game. Holly, I gotta say this is a must win. If you don't win this one, your season's pretty much over. Focus on the Shooter Bowl. Tyler's hot. Ugh. But you're gonna win, babe. I promise. Uh, Jones, Matt Jones, and Capper. 
Matt Jones is kind of in a must-win situation as well. Uh, Capra's been pretty hot lately. We'll see. Uh, Gary, you're going to roll over the Mangans. Let's just, let's just call it now. And I'm in a must-win against Aaron Jones atop the hooker standings. So I'm going to call myself a win just because if I don't have faith in me, who am I going to have faith in? So this week should be awesome. Oh, the cars went over the side and exploded. Holy shit, that was awesome. Oh, anyway, uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my nap. I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you soon. If you want to host this Sunday, let me know. We're down. Good night, everybody.